there was, I don't remember any comments about any children. And if there was, it, it, it obviously didn't, it, it, it came and went without me noticing it. Trish, I can assure you that if, if they were talking about your children, you would definitely notice it. You need to sit down right now. You're out of line. In fact, you're excused. You need to go sit in the back with your, with your uh, chief public defender. He's the public defender. Mr. Weeks, please ask the lawyer from your office to go sit down and not say anything else. To try to threaten my children and bring up my children is inappropriate. Go to the back of the room now. That just violated about every rule of professional responsibility that I have ever, I have never. If you're going to get up here and you're going to. Judge, I asked you to go sidebar on this matter. You, sidebar or not, you don't have one of your assistant public defenders say something about my children. Judge, that same venom that the court is expressing is the same venom that defense counsel had to sit through this entire morning when she their brought children up her children multiple referenced. times during the trial. Nobody knows if I'm barren or not. They don't judge, know about my children. Judge, sit down. Sit down. Judge. Sit down, Mr. Weeks. Please do not summarily dismiss I'm me. summarily dismissing I'm asking you. Go the court. sit down. I'm asking the court. I asked the court to go sidebar. Go sit down. You don't threaten the judge, court's children. Everyone Your in this courtroom. Just did that. Go sit down. No, no one in this courtroom had to endure what we Go had to endure. Go sit down. Miss, Miss McNeil has made her children a spectacle more than once during this trial. That was her choice. You have absolutely no right to have one of your assistants come up here and suggest something about my children. Now, please go sit down. Judge. You're judge. inappropriate and out of line. 